What's happening guys, it's Abhinav from Phonebench and I'm back with another video today. This time around, it's how to set up the Gear VR for your Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. Now with a lot of new Gear VR users who have just purchased a Samsung Galaxy S7, we have been getting a lot of queries about how to set it up. So let's begin with the unboxing and see what all we get inside. So you have two velcro straps inside the Gear VR box. This is the first one. It attaches to the sides of the Gear VR and this one attaches to the middle. So it's like a headband and you also get a quick start guide. Now how to assemble it? I'll just get to that in a short moment. So folks, this is the Gear VR. First of all, do one thing, remove all the plastics covering the cowl at the top. So just remove these, you have one on the insides as well. Now before we get to the actual assembly, let's familiarize ourselves with the different ports, connections and everything else about the Gear VR. So first thing you will notice on the left you have that slot which is labeled A and B. Now the A position is for larger devices like the Note 5 the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and the B position is for smaller devices like the S7 or the S6. So all you need to do is just push and move it forward for the smaller devices. Now on the right you have another clamp which you need to open before you put the phone in. Now at the top you have the focus ring. So you can adjust the focus so that everything looks clear when you have the Gear VR on. Now the Gear VR is powered by Oculus which means that you get content from Oculus and some hardware implementation as well. Which is great because they are one of the pioneers in this field. Now everything that you need to interact with the Gear VR is right here. So you have some controls, you have head tracking inbuilt as well but these do offer additional functionality. So you have the volume rocker on the right which can be used to control brightness, contrast and of course volume as well. Then you have a trackpad right there, it is a capacitive trackpad with a button in between and you have a physical back button at the top and a micro USB port at the bottom to charge your device as well. So when it's plugged in, you can keep charging your device. Now if you move inside, you have some sensors available here which track your head and you also have a proximity sensor which automatically triggers the Gear VR app when you wear it. And then there's some nice padding in here as well and people with glasses would be very glad that you can actually use the Gear VR with glasses on. Now let's jump into assembly. So first of all, always remember that all the velcro strips need to be on the outside and there you go. You just have to stick them on. Next up is the turn of the thinner strap which goes first into the top just near the focus wheel. Curved side forward, you just put that in and you are good to go again. And on the other side, you just need to open the velcro strap put it into the other one and you are all set to go. Now this is an adjustable strap so you can go ahead and change its length, you can increase or decrease it based on how comfortable it is to wear. That's just about it. Now to put the phone inside just align the micro USB port of the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge or any other device and then just push it inside. The right side one would close automatically. That's just it. Now one more thing about the design of the Gear VR, you can actually use a headset plugged into your phone with the Gear VR so you don't have to disturb everybody around you while you're watching something. So there you go, it offers some privacy and you can just close that cowl up top. So that's the setup complete and as soon as you wear the Gear VR for the first time, this is what you hear. Welcome to your Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device and install the required applications on it. At this point, just take the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge out of the Gear VR and you will be greeted with the setup screen. Just hit next, it is going to download some files and then install them. It's not going to take a lot of time, just let that be. And after that, you'll get a health warning. I would recommend that you read that first. And once done, just hit on agree and press next. Now it's going to download some of the essential files which are required for the Gear VR to work properly on your smartphone. Let it download that. It will take a couple of minutes based on your internet connection speed. Then it's going to install them. And once the install completes, it will automatically open up the Oculus app where you need to either create an account or sign into a previous account. Now there's a starter bundle where you get 360 photos, videos, you have a performance from Cirque du Soleil and you also have a music video. So I would just recommend 
For a first experience, just download all of them. After that, enter your email address that you want to be associated with your Oculus account. So just enter that email address right here and hit on continue. After that, just enter a password for that account. Then you need to enter a unique username. Then after that, your real name and an Oculus pin. Now this is just when you want to purchase stuff from Oculus. Now just like any other service, you will get a verification email from Oculus. It looks exactly like this and you just have to tap on the link to verify it. Now after the verification is complete, just open the Oculus app again and hit on browse Oculus store. Here you can add a payment method if you want to. You can skip this step as well. You can also find all your friends who are already on the service. So all your friends who are present on the Oculus store, who are using a Gear VR, you can find them from right here. You can adjust your privacy settings as well. And just after that, you will enter the Oculus store. Now there is a lot of content which is available here. Some of it is free, some of it is paid. Now before starting with the Gear VR, I would recommend that you download some of these free games as well, like Temple Run, Smash It, Shooting Showdown 2. And to download these games, all you need to do is just tap on a title, let's say Temple Run VR, tap on free and then tap on accept. So it's pretty easy. Once done, you are all set. Just plug the Galaxy S7 back into the Gear VR and let's start the experience. Now the next thing that you will get is a tutorial on how to use the different controls on the Gear VR. So the first is you would have to point to a donut. You can just move your head there and tap on the touchpad. Next up, some more exercises regarding that. Well, you learned how to tap on it. Then you can swipe forward, swipe backward, swipe up and down. So all those motions you can simply go through very easily. Just have a look here. So the trackpad has very good response. It actually makes it far easier to interact with VR content. It's a very seamless experience and the tutorial actually is pretty good as well. And finally, you will land at your home page. Here you can see all the apps that you have downloaded. You have the store as well from where you can download more apps right from within Gear VR. And then there's your library, which includes all the apps that you have downloaded and all the experiences as well. Now all of this can be controlled by just moving your head around and if you point at something, just tap on it to open. So let's experience how Temple Run works in VR. Now this actually is really immersive. Now for a better experience with Gear VR, it is recommended that you be either sitting or in a stationary position. Now this game really is very immersive. You can look back, you can look forward, you can look to the sides and you really get into that environment. This one is a 360 music video from years and years. You can have a look at that if you enjoy their music. And then you can travel to any place even without moving. Just sitting at your desk, you can look at images from any place in the world. Now the Gear VR is aimed at consumers directly. This makes it far easier to experience VR on a budget. And that's truly a very immersive experience. Well folks, that was a quick guide on how to get started with the Gear VR and some apps that I actually liked quite a lot. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or you want us to review more apps with the Gear VR, do mention that in the comment section. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do mention those as well. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel for more content and as always, have a great day.